So, the first 24 hours with the new puppy. In this video, I will share everything you need to know about it. It is Jose here from Train Me Please, let's go. This is a video collaboration with Tisha Rolf from Behavior Antics. She recently got the cutest puppy ever, Seda. So we have lots of fresh ideas about the entire process for you. Let's start with four things you need to consider before the puppy comes home. One, morning is the best time to bring a new puppy home. This will allow plenty of time for the puppy to get used to the new environment. Two, take some time off from work. That initial time is crucial for the puppy to feel safe and secure and also to learn new routines and establish good habits. We recommend at least two weeks off work. If there is someone that works from home after that, even better. 3. Make sure you have all the items you will need. You will need things to build a safe indoor puppy area, lots of enrichment items, a comfortable harness and leash, and a treat pouch, among other things. 4. Consider the routines of your existing dogs. If these routines are likely to change with the puppy's arrival, Make sure that you introduce this change before the puppy comes home so that they can adjust. You will probably have less free time available than you might estimate, at least initially. Prepare accordingly. Okay, the puppy is home. What now? First, you are going to need a safe indoor puppy-proof area. This is incredibly important at the start. This area will allow you to manage the puppy so that everyone is safe and unlikely to rehearse unwanted behaviors. It will prevent issues with kids, house items and other pets. It will facilitate toilet training and offer the puppy a safe area to rest and be undisturbed. Second, build strong toilet training habits. Set your puppy up for success by taking them outside often to give them lots of opportunities to go to the toilet where you would like them to. At this stage, we generally don't recommend the use of puppy pads or indoor toilets unless you don't have an outdoor area for them to use as this can just delay your end goal of having them go outside. Prime times when a puppy might need to go to the toilet are immediately after waking up eating or playing. Otherwise, keep an eye on your puppy and use a timer to make sure that you're giving your puppy plenty of opportunities to get it right. For baby puppies approximately eight weeks old, we recommend starting it every 20 to 30 minutes and modifying this depending on your individual puppy's needs. If you are consistent, eventually your puppy will start to indicate that they need to go to the toilet by orienting or moving towards the door and that's your signal to take them outside. It is no surprise that puppies can be easily distracted. So the first time that they attempt to go, they often aren't able to fully empty their bladder. So if you allow them to wander and sniff a bit more afterwards, you might find that they will go again. Clean up any mess with an appropriate enzymatic cleaner and never growl or punish your puppy for having an accident. This may create a puppy who may hide from you and toilet indoors when you aren't looking. The next thing to consider is that puppies need a lot of rest. When a puppy joins your family, they are going through a lot. Many of them would have just left their mother and siblings. 18 to 20 hours of rest per day is normal, so it is important that they have a designated sleeping area that is quiet and where they can be undisturbed. You can also play white noise or background music to help them settle. According to this 2017 study, playing soft rock or reggae music can increase positive effects on dogs compared to other music genres. Maybe you could give this a try. Sleep allows a puppy's brain to process and organize all the information that they have experienced, and there is a lot of that going on for a puppy. They are experiencing new things in a new world, new home, and with a new family. What if you have other dogs or pets? Safe introductions are a must. Take it slow and set them up for success. You can do partial or even no introductions in the first 24 hours. When you do, utilize barriers, baby gates and puppy pens to ensure no one is overwhelmed. Many dogs take time to warm up to a new addition and puppies can be easily overwhelmed by exuberant dogs. So take your time to build those positive foundations. Build confidence, trust and secure attachment. These are your primary goals with your puppy. There is plenty of time for obedience training later. 
Focusing on building confidence, trust, and a secure attachment by meeting their needs and supporting them will help create a more well-rounded and resilient dog. Offer the puppy plenty of safe mouthing and chewing opportunities. Puppies explore the world with their mouths, so it is important to give them safe outlets to do this. Puppy safe chews or toys such as puppy teething rings and frozen or cold pieces of carrot are often hot faves for mouthy puppies. Now, listen to this sequence because it will be your life for that first little while. Eat, sleep, toilet, play, repeat. A good structure and stable routine will help your puppy succeed. Recognizing when the puppy is getting tired and helping them to disengage and settle down for a nap is highly recommended. Avoid letting them go, go, go until they drop where they are. The former option will help them learn to self-regulate well and avoid them practicing undesirable behaviors. These are often seen when a puppy is overtired, such as intensified mouthing or biting, jumping, barking, etc. Did someone say socialization? Yes, super important. However, this video is about the first couple of days with your puppy, so here we will just touch on a couple of points to consider. Start organizing to attend a positive reinforcement puppy class and socialization program, but give them a couple of days to settle in first. For socialization, it's all about building positive associations when exposed to different things such as sights, smells, sounds, surfaces, objects, buildings and environments, touching and handling, and more. The list goes on. It is also about meeting calm and healthy dogs, adults, and children, and especially being able to focus and engage with you in the presence of all types of animals and unfamiliar people. These positive associations are easier to establish when we pair all of that stuff with delicious treats and fun games while the puppy is not overwhelmed. Exposure on its own is not enough. I've got one more important tip for you coming up in just a second, but first, could I please ask you to click the like button down below? Cute photo as a thanks. Your first vet visit. It is a great idea to book your puppy in for a quick vet check within the first couple of days to make sure they are healthy and ready to start their lives with you. Some puppy sale contracts actually stipulate you must get them checked out within the first couple of days. This is a great opportunity to start building a positive association for the puppy with the vet care team. Could you leave me a comment down below with the keyword puppies? That will let me know that you watched the video to this point. A massive thanks to Tisha for helping me put this video together. You can find her contact in the description below. Also for all of you that have been buying me a coffee or leaving me super thanks, I see you and I appreciate you. Hey, do you need a full list of items to buy for a new puppy? You've got it right here. Muito obrigado e até a próxima.